Every house has a story. Here in Los Angeles, we are the capital of dreamers and storytellers. And so I'm delighted to be here at 3851 Kingswood in Sherman Oaks with acclaimed Emmy Award winning producer Tom Beers in a house that Tom dreamt, conceived, and custom built. Tom, thank you so much for having us here. That's great. That's always a pleasure, man. Want to take you on an amazing journey of Tom's dream house. Check it out. Tom, this house is fucking amazing. Tell me, like, what was your what was your uh, inspiration? Gosh, you, you know, uh, first of all, the property itself is is amazing to be totally with. wooded. Uh, yeah, it's wooded. It has a stream that runs year round yeah. uh, in the front of the house, uh, and that was really important to me. I like water features, mm -hmm. and so I love this property so much that about seven years ago, I tore down my old house. Mm -hmm and rebuilt it. So I've actually been on this property for almost 24 years. So you really uh, got to kind of know and feel the light patterns and yeah. what tree you loved and what tree? Well, these they're, they're beautiful old oak trees, yeah. you know, all over the property. It's, it's totally enclosed. It's in a beautiful canyon. Uh, you can rarely ever hear any noise. It's a dead end cul-de-sac. I mean, all those features, those elements, it makes for a beautiful kind of, almost a, a little oasis right in the middle of Sherman Oaks. So, because there's a lot of windows, so there's a lot of this indoor, outdoor, organic feel which capitalizes on being able to see. So whatever the square footage of the house is, almost to me, is irrelevant because you have this expansive, almost, I don't know, over one acre parcel, and you basically are participating in all of it. Yeah, you know, and it's amazing. In California, you know, I, I grew up in, New York, and, and I, I worked at Turner Broadcasting in Atlanta for many years, and the idea of keeping your doors open and letting the air in, it's the most amazing thing. It's like indoor, outdoor living. You open your doors, and you know, I mean, behind me here by the pool that you can't see, but you know, I often see, I've got great video of deer just walking right by my pool. Well, I think know? in the description of the house, I've said, not a day goes by where you don't see yeah. a deer. And again, that's what's so fascinating about we're walking distance, to Ventura Boulevard oh, yeah. and your driving distance to all the arteries where we want to get places and yet literally you are in a canyon where there is running stream and there's koi. <laughs> there's plenty of koi. Yeah, you know, I, as I said, you know, I, I do a lot of my TV shows, uh, Deadliest Catch and uh, Bering Sea Gold, and uh, uh, I did uh, uh, Swords Life on a Line and Lobster Wars. So I spent a lot of time around water. And water's really, really kind of key to my existence. And when you go around the property, you'll see plenty of waterfalls and, as I said, streams and, yeah. you know, because I and, and koi pond. I have a koi pond that goes directly through the floor of the it's house. A little, it's a little funky yeah. the first time you walk on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's big, thick glass. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But anyway, in, in, in show business, you know, you're, it's chaos. Everything is just so intense and, you know, and, and just, you know, in your face. And I, I wanted to find a place that I could just go and, and, and retreat to, right. you know. And to me, uh, it's a very zen uh, place, and I designed it that way. Uh, the color palettes are, are zen, are comfortable. Uh, I, I, I love all the, you know, the exterior rough beams, the wood, the, you know, so it really, it's very, very peaceful to me. And I think that's really important. Um, I built a, a little Zen hut down over the stream, down by the stream, uh, that's just incredibly peaceful with waterfalls in front of it. So there are many places in the house that you can go and disappear and just be quiet and just relax. I mean, that was really kind of a, an important element to building the house. So I'm going to put you on the spot. What's your favorite room or spot in the house? Uh, I love sitting in the little nook to my right. Uh, it's uh, a great place. That's an amazing, to... was that couch custom built? Yeah, it's yeah. all custom built. So yeah, I uh, built that so I could just kind of sit in that nook in the morning. I gotta be honest, I mean, when you have uh, the budget 
that's unlimited, you can, you know, the, the world's unlimited for you. So it's kind of like, hey, I want a koi pond in my screening room. And they're like, yeah, but it's going to cost. Ah. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. You know, <laughs> it's like, I want, it. I want this, I want that. Yeah. I mean, the woodwork, all it, it, the elements that you don't really look at at first in, in this house are, you know, extraordinary. There are no baseboards, for instance. Oh, you'll look at it, it's all custom crafted. Mm -hmm. I mean, every bit of the hand rubbed uh, 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 plaster, uh, um, Phoenician plaster uh, on the walls, all the hand-built, custom-built cabinetry, you know, all that stuff is just, you know, it's ab above and beyond what you would normally get in a house. Right, right. Uh, and all the craftsmen that I brought in, the artists that I brought in. And were these people that, in your vast production career, that you work with, or were these just people that, because you've traveled the world and produced around the world, you've gotten to meet artists from around the world? Well, y both. Uh, I, uh, if you look at, for instance, all the rough beams, the large beams throughout the entire house, those are all sinker cypress. Those are cypress trees that were had basically sunk to the bottom of a Louisiana swamp. Love it. And they'd been there for over a hundred years. So the wood itself takes on a different quality. It's not petrified wood, but at the same time, a lot of the original kind of uh, uh, the uh, the sap had pulled out of the tree and they had started, the trees had started to mineralize a little bit. Uh -huh. So they have a different sheen and a different finish. And they're, they're incredible wood. So all the beams, and that's from my show, uh, Swamp Man with Shelby Stanga. <laughs> so uh, when I was down in Louisiana watching him do this, I said, God, I love this wood. So I had him ship me up about maybe a million board feet wow. uh, of sinker cypress. And that was from my show. All the metal work that you see around the house is done by uh, a, a guy named Danny Statler, who was from my series Monster Garage. Right. Uh, and Dan did all these incredible sculptures for me, and he's an amazing metal worker. So I brought in these craftsmen from my shows. Um, all the brackets also and all the beams were built by him. Sculptor named uh, Tanya Rygar, who did, if you look out in my the fountain, there's a series of, of uh, uh, napkins, cloth napkins that are bronzes that look like they're it's being blown away as, as the series goes on. And it's being held on each end by my son, Max's hands. And we cast his hands. Uh -huh. So I have this great video How of old that. was he so like when he was? He was about 17, 16. Uh -huh. You know, and so we've got these great casts of my son's hands holding these napkins as they fly away uh, in the back. If you look at the front entrance, uh, the slump glass, it's flat stained glass. Mm -hmm. uh, Dorothy Lenahan, who's a very famous um, glass sculptor in, in, up in Oakland. Uh, I, I came across her work. I, I, I love stained glass. Um, and so I came across her work and asked her to commission her to make the, the door panels in the mm -hmm. front. And that took her almost a year to make those panels. And they're beautiful kind of bamboo glass. So it, it brought in the outdoors again to the indoors. So you'll see a lot of these elements as they, you go through the house. It's kind of, you know, it, it's just filled with inspiration and aspiration. So again, at the end of the day, right, we've got what is interesting to me is, as, as a realtor, you've got the separate gym, you've got the guest house, you've got the office. Right, so you've got a lot of these check boxes, um, you know. Yeah, I have a guest wing. Yeah, uh, I built that for my parents. It's uh, perfect to come for out that. to visit. So yeah. they have their own kitchen. Yeah, you know their own entrance. Yeah, you know, so it, it, it's great for for when you have the house that you can have guests come and stay, and you don't really they're not in your living space at all. Completely so enclosed and self sufficient. They, right, and they can come and go as they please, and go out the front gate, and you yeah. hardly, if you never want to see them, you don't have to see them. But you know, it's also just really nice, uh, you know, for visitors as well as the guest house in the back. Um, that could be used as a as another office or a production office. Yep. Or I, I built it originally as an artist gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you, you could be a if you're a painter. To me, and like from the moment you drive up, the curb appeal, walking through the gardens, and, and all, like you said, the wooded uh, foliage, mature foliage. The 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 most technical term I can think of is vibe, right? I mean, it's just it is a vibe unlike almost any other. Again, and we're blessed to be in an amazing city with lots of vibe. It's really nice to hear when somebody walks into my house and they go, wow, 
this is the coolest house I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know. So the, you know, a lot of amazing craftsmen that you've worked with on your productions all around the world or other artists that you've admired, and you've told us about a few of them, and there's a couple other, I think, interesting things that I've seen. Can you tell me about those? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the big steel gates down at the creek, an artist named Carl Johnson mm -hmm. built those, and he, there's there's a little bit of joy throughout the whole house. You, you you'll have to. It's like almost like a treasure hunt. But I built this mosaic creature. It's got kind of like an octopus with with these orange mosaic uh, tile arms. And, and you see them. They show up in the back of the house. They show up in the koi pond. They show up down by the That's creek. Fine. It's as if the tentacles uh -huh. uh, throughout the whole house. You'll you, you'll see it, and you have to kind of explore to find them. Well, it's uh, it's an extraordinary pleasure to be here and to hear kind of your inspiration about the house. So um, we're, again, the story as you heard is one of unbridled uh, creativity and uh, invite you to come check it out and hope you enjoy.